these people are toxic these people are toxic these people are toxic hey guys what is going on um <sighs> okay so i got bored you know and i just didn't feel like going to sleep sometimes it'd be 11 10 2 o'clock in the morning what have you and i just i still be up for some reason i was like I've heard about this Kissing Booth movie, but I've never seen it. I see it like on my Instagram feed, like people like, oh, we ship, we ship, but I'm like, okay. But anybody who is awake now hasn't seen it, and everybody who I know who probably has seen it is asleep. And I like to watch a movie with somebody who has seen it because I like to talk about the movie, and I like to ask questions about the movie, like, oh, what's gonna happen? Like, I'm one of those people, whatever. So I'm gonna watch this movie with you guys. If that's okay with you, is that okay with you? Can I watch the movie with you? Great. A baby, two babies. Those are best friends. That's me, Elle Evans. And the smelly, less cute baby right next to me, that's my best friend, Lee. Lee and I were born on the same day, at the same time, here in Los Angeles, California. Our moms were BFFs before people even used the term BFFs. So- Yo, that's wild, like. <laughs> How press? How y'all conceive a baby on the same day? Like that's funny. How should I have two pair of pants? That cannot be dress code. If you if you have to wear, I've never had to wear uniforms to school. I guess they get to pick what they can wear like it has to be certain colors or whatever but like okay i go to school five days a week and i only have two pair of pants and one of them is at the cleaners that doesn't make any sense to me <laughs> how do you only have two pair of pants you go to school five days a week you should have at least three or four pair of pants at least He tried. Oh! Where did he come from? Oh! He just mad! Bro, this dude just like punching people. You could have just pushed him away and been like, yo, bro, chill. Like, nah, he went full. Ah, okay. Don't mess with Noah. Got it. I'm confused. <laughs> if he views her as a little sister, why is everybody shipping them online? That's nasty. Never great to hear your child That's nasty. Their fan base must be from Alabama. <laughs> Let me stop. Oh, here he go. Oh, here we go. Oh, let me be the bodyguard. You ain't guarded nothing. <laughs> ah, he's stupid he said you lucky she holding me back or else these hands would it flying he threatening people Okay. There's others? Okay. 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 Mind your business, bro. He is crushing on her. Obviously, because why doesn't he want people to go out with her? But also, how are you going to be crushing on somebody that you view as your little sister? That's weird. Yo, these people are toxic. <laughs> hey. Oh, no. Oh, no. Peer pressure is not the way to go. Just because someone tell you to do something don't mean you got to do it. <laughs> I'm 
unless it's me telling you to subscribe. <laughs> Shameless. Okay. See, that's what's wrong with people. People be pressuring people to do stuff. If she don't want to drink, she don't want to drink. Leave her alone. Leave her alone. <laughs> She's in middle school. She's she goes to the same school as you. Like I'm over it. You know the presence of a kissing booth in itself is kind of nasty. Um, like what if somebody got something? Like you know what I'm saying? You could have herpes. I don't want your herpes. Not for a dollar. It's not worth it. <laughs> ah! That's what you get. Cheaters never win. Cheaters never prosper. If y'all don't hear anything else, hear this. Just, you cannot cheat to get ahead. I mean, you can, but you're not going to win in the end. So just, you know, think on that. Food for thought. told you to go and kiss somebody and then you kissed them blindfolded and you didn't know who it was and then that's that on that and that's up to Lee to talk to his brother and be like what you kissing my friend for that ain't got nothing to do with you girl but then again she did take the blindfold off and kiss him again but you just don't gotta tell him that part <laughs> just tell him the first part <laughs> he is not amused <laughs> She could have given some context though. That's all. Like that's I hate in the movies when like they don't give context. Like yeah, I wasn't even supposed to kiss anybody, and then the blonde girl came up to me and was like, "Oh, my ex is up there. You have to go up there." So they literally put the blindfold on me, push me. Like no context. <laughs> Rejector. I stand corrected. I guess we like kissing our little sisters now. You want to know the truth? Yeah, I want to know the truth. You are the only girl who doesn't fall at my feet. And it is driving me crazy. Oh, this is one of those he wants what he can't have situations. It's like, oh, I want you because you don't gawk over me. But hello, have you heard of rule number nine? <laughs> She's not allowed to gog over you, boy. <laughs> oh, toxic. I'm telling you. She's too much for me. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Like, I understand what you're saying, but at the same time, calm down. Rule number six. They got a lot of rules. I'm sorry. But y'all can't be telling me what to do, okay? <laughs> like, oh, he said, I got my eyes. What you doing? nice and all that you came to protect your little sister like hey come on man it's all good i guess i'd also be pretty pissed if i was slumming it with my little brother's sloppy second <laughs> i think 
it is I'm over these people. How everybody gonna view this girl as his little sister, but then also view him as like what? Just get the car out. Now he got a car? I thought he had a motorcycle. Just get in the car out. Get in the car out. Whoa! 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 You're yelling. <laughs> You're yelling. And I don't like that. I don't like that. This is now, I'm getting vibes of an abusive relationship. I'm getting vibes of, if we go down this path, if we go down this path, this is an abusive relationship waiting to happen. I don't like it. Fix yourself. Fix yourself. Please. Oh, he says please, so it's going to make it better. You want to know something? I watched a movie on Lifetime with my mother. And this girl was in a relationship with this boy. And, like, you know, he was a boy that everybody likes or whatever. He's, like, I guess a jock or something. That's the word. And, anywho, it was... Anywho, this was an abusive relationship. And he was, like, beating on her and whatever. And then she finally got the courage to get out of the relationship. And she was set free. And then, at the end of the movie, this boy goes... Can you just get in the car so we can talk about it? Like, get in the car, get in the car. And she's like, no, 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 no. And then the other girl, who's like just some random girl who I guess wants to have sex with him, she was like, oh, I'll get in the car with you. And he was like, see that? She'll get in the car with me. And basically, like, manipulated the girl into getting in the car with her. And then the girl gets in the car with this boy, and he's like, I'm taking you home or whatever. He locks the door. Long story short, she don't show up home. She shows up dead at the bottom of a lake. How you gonna yell at me and then tell me to get in the car with you so I can show up dead at the bottom of the lake? <laughs> you have the wrong one. <laughs> or I guess he has the right one because she got in the car, so. What do I know? That's what they all say. Ladies and gentlemen, because ladies can be abusive too. Look out for the signs, okay? Because it's never your fault. It's always their fault. An abuser is at fault, not the abusee. Remember that. Y'all, I told you, she's gonna be dead at the bottom of a lake. Oh, that's pretty. What's your problem? Oh, she's so annoying. I only talk to her a lot. Mm. Here's my thing. I understand that he's had a past, but at the end of the day, if you want to be with the boy, you can't be sitting here and be like, oh, you made out with somebody else. Y'all just discovered this connection. Up until now, you were his little sister. I still think you're his little sister, so I still think it's weird. But y'all do you. Y'all do you. They are not about to do it. They are not about to do it. They're about to do it. They're about to. That's nasty. How you gonna sit here and be like, oh, you over here with XYZ, you here with this girl, and this girl, and this girl, and this girl, and then you just gonna sit here and y'all gonna do it? Ew, like y'all, <laughs> he need to go get tested. I'm sorry. He could be, he could have anything. He need to be tested before he put his stuff, girl. He need to be tested. Mm. Look at you. Mm. Finna get chlamydia. I'm calling it right here. He gonna give her an STD and then she gonna break up with him. I'm calling it. Okay, so my camera died, y'all. My bad. Um, but honestly, the movie just got more toxic from there. The boy found out that his sister was dating his brother, which obviously he was gonna find out. And then he was mad, which at first I understand being mad that she lied about it. But then he just kept being mad. But I'm like, you can't tell somebody how to feel. You know what I mean? Like, she shouldn't have lied about it. But at the end of the day, it is what it is. The heart wants what the heart wants. And if that's her big brother, then <laughs> let me stop. But, um, yeah. And then the other boy was like, oh, I love you. And he told it to the whole world or whatever, like at the prom. And then she was like, 
and then she ran away and well she ran out of the room and then the next day the brother was like <laughs> the little brother her best friend he was like yeah i think you did the right thing it's like what you're toxic bro like they can't help how they feel but then she was like uh, then she told the other brother how she felt and then they got together and then he went off to harvard and she was like things are never going to be the same and that's okay and i have a feeling that she is going to cheat on him because let me be honest with you like when the brother found out she was getting all mad at her boo. I'm like, every single time I turn around, you getting mad at your boo for something. And he really don't be doing nothing. Like, he's not really doing nothing. He's just trying to love you. Why are you always mad? Why are you always yelling at him? He's better than I, because a lot of that time. Too much. Too much. But, yeah, so I heard there's a second one. By I heard, I mean, Netflix told me. If you guys want me to watch the second one for you, let me know. Leave a comment down below and I will definitely get to that. But other than that, make sure, you know, if you like this video, leave a thumbs up so other people can see the video. And subscribe if you want to see more videos. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.